In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the six things I think you should know before you buy the Novation Circuit Tracks. This is a standalone groove box, but it's not gonna be for everyone. So if you're struggling to figure out if it's for you, let me give you the advice from my angle based upon a few months of using this thing to write music with at home. Right, let's get going. Point number one, this box is unique. There's nothing else quite like it out there. Now that might be a good thing for you, but it might be a bad thing. You might want something more conventional. It certainly isn't conventional. The thing this is nearest to is the original Novation circuit. This is two synthesizers, a four track drum machine, and it's a sequencer that can control all that plus two external pieces of MIDI equipment. Apart from that, it's an eight track mixer. You can feed audio back in from that MIDI equipment to mix with the six internal sound engines to give you an eight track finished stereo output. It's got effects built in. It's got a battery built in as well. And it's highly portable so you can take it anywhere and just get going on your headphones composing on the go. There's nothing else quite like this. And so again, if you want something conventional, it's probably not for you. At this stage, if you needed any more convincing that it's unique, I hope I've just given you that. You know, they have another model, the Circuit Rhythm, which is great, same kind of form factor and so on, but it's just not as unique as this. I mean, where are you gonna get a drum machine and two polyphonic synthesizers and a good sequencer that's able to control MIDI equipment and then take all that stuff back in and mix it and apply effects to it? You're not, that's, this is really quite a unique thing. The second point I'd like to make about this is that it is really, really lovable. It's the design of this, the build of it, the function, it's just a lovable unit. You are drawn to these pads, which are full RGB, depending on what mode you're in, they're all different. Uh, you're drawn to these pads, which is how it should be. But it's got so many other controls that are just pushed to the back by the design around the outside. Another 18 controls around the outside, as well as the 32 pads. The encoders at the top are really cleverly laid out to work with the various functions. For instance, in the mixer mode, each of these is like your fader, like your mixer fader, and they're directly above the channels they, they control. Then you've got a master filter, which is like a DJ's master filter and a master volume kind of around the edges of those. Um, it's a wedge kind of shape. So that means around the back, you've got room for full MIDI in, out and through, uh, which weren't on the previous one. You know, everything about this is pushing you towards thinking, actually, I really love this. It doesn't feel cheap, even though it's plastic. It's just a lovable little unit. So if you're looking at it thinking, will I not like it? Will it feel like it's a bit of a toy? I can reassure you it won't. I think you'll fall in love with the thing. So my third point is it's got a lot of hidden power. It's actually very, very easy to get going with this. You turn the thing on and you hit play and the last thing that you were play, working on will play away and then you can dive in very quickly and start changing up things much, much quicker than booting up a computer, for instance. However, there is a lot of hidden depth to it. There's a lot of macros for things like tuning your drums and, and, and designing your drum sounds. At the synthesizers, you've got an oscillator, oscillator modulator, amp envelope, filter envelope, filter frequency, resonance, modulation, effects. You can tweak and automate the sounds coming off all of these patches that are built in. It's got micro steps built into the drum machine so that you can do those, for instance, those really fast trap hi-hats and stuff like that. But also you can introduce swing to it and you can play non-quantized and it will respect that. It's got things like probability and mutate. So you can put baseline patterns in and so on and it'll play with them as it's playing in a way which can inspire you and can make your stuff sound a lot more organic. Uh, it's got velocity. It's just very... Uh, thoughtfully uh, been piled with features that are not in your face if you don't want them, but they are there for you. So it, it, uh, it's got a lot of hidden power. So the fourth point I wanna make, that's four, in this list of things that I'd like you to consider before shelling out the money for this, is that I think it misses a little bit of computer integration. So it's got a USB-C cable, which you can use to interface with the thing I wanna talk about next on your computer, but I'd like to have seen an audio interface in it so you could send at least a stereo mix up this cable and record it on your computer, if not an eight track output, which would make it a lot easier to get the music onto your computer to put it into a door for finishing off, by the way. That's not there, and I think that's a little bit of a, uh, of a missed opportunity because I'd like to have seen that, and I suspect others would as well. However, there is one thing they've included which I think is really, really cool, and that is integration with Novation Components, which is a web app, it's also downloadable, which can keep your projects and your sounds and your synth patches for this 
in the cloud and then you can take them from here and put them up there or take them from there and put them back down to here whenever you want. It's a really thoughtful and free thing that they've included here. For instance, here's a new disco drum pack I've been working on, uh, but also you can work on patches here. You can uh, get into the synth and actually start making your own synth patches. So this is gonna be familiar to anyone who's used uh, Serum or synths like that. You can uh, really dive in and start getting under the hood of this here. And then when you're finished, you can send it all down via the SD card into the unit and then you've got this to carry around with you. Uh, that's a really powerful addition. And they're always adding sound packs to this as well for free. So extra sounds will appear in here periodically and they'll email you and tell you about that. And so they're kind of refreshing the unit via innovation components, really nice. Uh, I like that a lot. Um, so we are on to my final point, my final one of six points about whether you should buy this or not, is it for you? And really this is gonna to get to the crux of the matter because this unit is not for everyone, but some people will love it. It's very, very different to using a door, very different. It's very limited in what you can do and it makes you do things its own way. Now you're gonna fight against that at first, especially if you're used to using a door. But I suspect that if this is for you, what will happen is you'll learn to, learn to go with it and then it's gonna become like what it is which is a musical instrument. And once you understand its limitations and once you can work within the way it wants you to work, you are freed from all that worry about, am I doing it the right way? What's the new features bringing? What's this, what's that that you get with a door? The analysis paralysis with that endless possibilities in a door. The possibilities in here come from inside your head because what's built into this thing is finite. Yes, you can add to this your own feeling, especially because it's got two external MIDI, MIDI channels that you can use. So for instance, in my home setup, I have it with a Korg baseline machine with a uh, little sampler you know, with a keyboard to control the, the keyboard functions of the pads because I find that easier and a little mixer to make up for the fact that there's no audio interface put into it. But even that setup there is limited. So you have to get used to playing within what you've got. And to a lot of people, that is going to be something that is far from being uh, a a limitation in the end, it's gonna be something that, that pushes them creatively. And that is really gonna decide whether it's for you or not, whether you are happy to accept limitations and the fact that you're playing an instrument rather than in this kind of endless world of computer music, uh, what kind of person are you? That's gonna be the thing that really decides for you. So that's the circuit tracks, kind of the six things I wanted to tell you about it. We've written a full review of this up over on the Digital DJ Tips website. So if you're still scratching your head and thinking, is this for me, what's this all about? Do go and take a look at that review on the Digital DJ Tips website. And if you don't know who we are, we're the biggest DJ school in the world. So come and join us. There's a link here and you can get a copy of our book, which is Rock the Dance Floor, how to become a great DJ and a great DJ producer, but more importantly, you'll join our community where we've got lots of resources, groups, emails, and free training, all that kind of stuff to help you become a better DJ and a better DJ producer. So do come join Digital DJ Tips. Again, that link is this one here, digitaldjtips.com slash join. Uh, meanwhile, get good, get out there, make the moments. I'll see you again in another review in another video very soon. Until then, have fun.